managing notebook environments can be hard, right? From installing the notebook services to managing virtual environments and dependencies and integrating with Git, it can sometimes be difficult, but it doesn't have to be. Notebooks can be easy. Welcome to GCP Live, the channel where we uncover Google Cloud secrets. My name is Arpit and today we're going to learn about Google Collaboratory and how you can leverage Google Collaboratory or Colab to train your machine learning models for free on GPUs and TPUs. Google Colab is a notebook environment provided by Google that lives inside your Google Drive. So here I am within my Google Drive and I'm going to click on New and I'm going to go to more and click on Google Collaboratory and this is going to bring up a new Colab instance. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's very similar to Jupyter Notebooks, the same interface. You have your codes and markdowns. I can say print one plus two, it prints out three. And so you can see it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's a Jupyter Notebook that got created with a click of a button I did not really have to do anything at all. And it comes preloaded with a lot of things. Let's do a quick pip freeze to check. So you can see that it comes with all these amazing machine learning, data science, and data engineering libraries. There is TensorFlow, Scikit-learn, Keras, SciPy, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, a lot of stuff pre-installed on this that you can use for your machine learning experiments. Let's actually look what's under the hood. What kind of machine is this running on? And I'm gonna paste this code snippet to see what's under the hood. So you can see that this is running on a machine that has two cores and roughly 13 gigs of RAM. You can use GPUs or TPUs to train your machine learning model within Colab for free. Just go to the runtime menu, click on change runtime, and select your hardware accelerator. I'm gonna select GPU. And now if I do NVIDIA-SMI, and you can see that it has a Tesla P100. I've had K80 before and V100 before, so Google basically recycles whatever GPU is available. So there's no guarantee that you will get P100 always or you'll get K80 always, but Google gives you a decent GPU to work with from within the notebook. Now let's compare it to what Google Cloud Platform provides. So as you know already, our Colab is two cores and 13 gigs of RAM. I'm gonna create a Google Cloud AI Platform notebook with a similar configuration. So let's go into Google Cloud Console, go to AI Platform, Notebooks, create a new instance, and I'm gonna customize the instance because I'm trying to match the size to the Colab configuration. And here in machine configuration, you will go down and select a high memory machine which is called N1 HiMem2. You see that this has the same size as a Colab instance which is two cores and 13 gigs of RAM. That's what we are looking for. And we're gonna select a GPU. So I'm gonna select K80, which is the most economical GPU on Google Cloud Platform, but you can select any. K80 is probably gonna be the cheapest one, so I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna say install all the drivers automatically. So you see, when I do that, Google tells me that this machine is gonna cost me almost $300 a month to run. And if you look at the details, you will see that this also contains a sustained use discount, which means my hourly rate, which is 40 cents right now, will definitely go up if I'm not using the machine all the time. And it definitely does not make sense to use your instance all the time because at night when you're not experimenting, unless you're running a model training overnight, it does not make sense to keep your instance running for your notebooks. So the hourly rate of 40 cents, maybe even 50 cents if I don't include sustained users discount, is definitely more expensive than the free collab. Now, what are the differences between Colab and AI Platform Notebook? When would you use Colab apart from it being free? And when would you not use Colab but go for AI Platform Notebooks? Here is a side-by-side -side comparison and I'm gonna put a link to it in the description so that you can read through it. But here it goes. So Colab, as you know already now, is a machine with 
two cores and 13 gigs of RAM. There is also something called Colab Pro, which is roughly $10 a month. And that gives you access to double the amount of RAM. Now, AI platform notebooks can be any size you want. You don't have to stick to two cores. You don't have to stick to 13 gigs of RAM or 26 gigs of RAM. You can go to any size that you want and you can customize your own instance. Google Colab lives on Google Drive. AI platform notebooks, on the other hand, live on Google Cloud Platform. It also has an easy Git integration. The maximum runtime, now this is a critical one. The maximum runtime on Colab is only 12 hours, which means your instance, if it is running a lengthy program, the program will automatically kill itself after 12 hours. But that's not the case on AI platform. AI platform is pay per use. You can continue to use it till the time you want it. It's per second billing, so you're going to pay for whatever time you use it. One important aspect for taking a decision on whether to use Colab or AI platform notebook is that AI platform notebook is part of Google Cloud platform, so it is fully managed. But Colab, on the other hand, IT has no management control over it. IT has no visibility over it. It's part of your personal Google Drive. It's like any other document in your Google Drive. So if you want IT function within your company to have control and visibility on your notebooks, then you should definitely use AI platform notebooks. So another point that I would like to mention is that because Colab is part of Google Drive, you don't really have a lot of control on security or networking or anything like that. But on the other side, AI platform notebooks are part of the Google Cloud platform. Therefore, IT can define strict networking and security rules around VPC networks, around restricting internet access and so on and so forth. You also get full SSH access to the machine, to the instance that is running your AI platform notebooks. There are ways if you want to get access to your data, which is living on cloud, for example, Google Cloud Storage or BigQuery and so on. There are ways to get access to it using Colab. Generally, Colab is a great tool if your data is in Google Sheets or even Cloud Storage. There are pre-built connectors with Google Authentication pre-built that you can use to access data into Colab. But if you're using AI platform notebooks, AI platform notebooks are fully integrated end to end with all Google Cloud products and services, including all the data products like BigQuery and Bigtable and Cloud Storage, wherever your data might be. So another important thing to note is that Google Colab is a consumer product. It's built for consumers, for researchers to do their own research, which means there is no SLA or support behind it. But Google AI platform notebooks is an enterprise environment provided by Google Cloud. It has a very strong SLA behind it and it is backed by enterprise level support that Google Cloud provides. And you know already that Colab is absolutely free, but Google Cloud AI platform notebooks are not. They are priced based on the instance size and you already saw an example. So really, whether you use Colab or AI platform notebooks, the choice is yours. What I would recommend is that if you're going to be using notebooks for your personal research for a science project, go for Colab. But if you're going to be using your notebook environment for something more enterprisey, building an enterprise machine learning system for your company or for your customers, definitely go with AI platform notebooks because of all the controls that you get, because your IT can manage it, because you can have custom machine types, because you can define networking and security firewall rules and VPCs and so on and so forth. And here is some pro tip. If you're using Google AI platform notebooks instead of Colab, apart from the enterprise support that you can subscribe to from Google Cloud, you can also leverage a premier managed partner like Media Agility to help you with your deployments. Media Agility is a digital consulting company focused on app modernization, analytics, and AI. Check them out at mediaagility.com. Please let me know in the comments how you use Colab or AI platform notebooks, and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.